To leave the friend zone, you must first realize that all relationships involve negotiation and you are struggling to renegotiate the current exchange. Essentially, you want more from the other person. Most likely, you are already giving too much and what you really want is for them to balance the scales. In this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step plan to get out of the friend zone and to make her want you. Let's begin. So I just want to start this video by saying that if right now you're afraid that you're falling into the friend zone with a special girl, we are not that far into it yet, then just go ahead and ask her out right now. Because this is going to prevent that mistake and you're either going to get rejected or you're going to go on a date with her. But for the rest of this video, I'm going to give you five key steps for getting out of the friend zone, determining that you're already past this point and you're already deep inside the friend zone. First step. Now, the first step, and this is a significant and critical one, is to accept reality. You need to accept the fact that you've fallen into the friend zone and that she's looking at you just as a friend. Now, you also need to understand the fact that you put yourself there. If you just asked her out earlier on, you would cover it, made it to the friend zone. So go ahead and accept responsibility so that next time you're in a similar situation with a new girl, you don't make the same mistake. Anyways, I actually got to get moving on the road, so let's keep this thing going, all right? Second step. The second step that I have for you is to cut back. And by that, I mean two different things. First of all, I mean to decrease communication. You can't view that dude who just texts or sends long-ass text messages all day long. You know if she's asking you for her an opinion or just wants a texting buddy for assurance. That can't be you. So you need to decrease the communication. You don't need to respond to every text message she sends you. And you don't need to be afraid to give her some short one-worded responses. Now, the second thing I mean is to say no to her sometimes. So if she wants to hang out, you know, just as friends all the time, we'll start saying no to her and putting her off because even though you're not going to do this, because you're going to feel like you're alienating her and you're pushing her away. That's actually a good thing because if you want anything to change, and you don't want to be just her friend anymore, then you need to push her away at least. Third step. Now I'm going to describe the third point. At this point, you're hanging out with her less. You decrease the communication a little bit, and that's going to get our thinking like, you know, what's going on with David? And this is going to build up some tension in between you guys and make her a little bit more nervous when you're hanging out with her. And you want to provide on this by flirting with them. Because when you flirt with her, when there's this tension in the room, that's going to help build attraction. When you're flirting, you're going to have to be careful you don't want to go overboard and do like weird sexual flirting. At this point, you just want to use some light, playful teasing. So for example, Julia like hates having anyone help her. She never wants any help. So I tease her all the time, like whenever she's carrying a bag or two. I'm always like, excuse me, do you need a man to help you with that? And she hates it, but she laughs and I know she actually loves it. Fourth step, I'm going to give you step number four, which is to do you. And by that, I mean two main things. The first one is to focus on enhancing yourself because a lot of times when you get obsessed with one girl, you know, when you get one and it is just you start to only think about her and you almost make your life revolve around her and your imaginary world that you want to have with her. Instead, focus on you going to the gym and building muscle, reading good books and just shoring up your weak spots is making yourself a better man. And at the same time, pursue going on dates with other girls. You know, ask other girls out who are not in the friend zone or do some Tinder or something like that because this is going to help shift your mindset from one of, you know, depending on getting validation from that one girl to just loving life and being your own man anyway. Fifth step. The fifth step that I have for you all is to come clean and ask her out. And this should be, you know, maybe one a month at the soonest. After starting these steps that I'm going to give you in this video, because when you're putting her off, you're starting to hang out with their lesson. You're starting to tease her a little bit. You need to do this for an extensive period of time. If you just do this for like one day or one week, she's going to think you're acting kind of weird. When you do it for a few weeks or a few months, then she's going to start wondering what's up, but she's going to start noticing these changes. At that point, that's when you have your opportunity to fall in and to ask her out. And when you do ask her out, I would recommend that you do it in an honest way. So I probably say something like, hey, I know we've been just friends, but honestly, I've always liked you a little bit more than that. And that's why I've sort of given myself some space away from you recently. 
But you know, do you want to hang out sometime to grab drinks, just me and you? Nat will make it obvious that you wanted to take her out on a date and not just hang out there as friends. Anyways, we're actually going to head back to my parents' place now, and I'll wrap up the video there. And here we are just chilling in the backyard here, spending the night at the parents' place. But those are five steps you can use to get out of the friend zone, but realize that these aren't going to work 100% of the time. At the end of the day, some girls just are not going to be into you, but that's all right because at least you'll find out. And that's the key here, is to sort of train yourself just to go ahead and go for it before you fall into the friend zone. If you're a guy who repeatedly tends to fall into the friend zone and you lack the confidence you need to ask girls out, then good news.